In this video, I'll show you how to approve an application access request using the eProcess Plus system. To get started, log into your My Northridge portal using your CSUN credentials. In the Staff tab, navigate to the Information Security pagelet and select Application Access Approve. In the Application Access Request window, under the Approvals folder, select Approve Request. If you know the requisition number, enter it into the Reference Number field, then select Search. The request number should be entered in its two-digit format, even if there are multiple role requests under the same number prefix. Each role requested is assigned a sequence number, such as 22.1 or 22.2, but they will still all appear using the two-digit format. If you don't know the requisition number, select Search to bring up a list of pending approval requests, and select from the list, which brings you to the Approve Request page. The header section at the top provides the key information about the request, including the request number, effective date, the name of the employee needing access, and other relevant details for the request. Below the header section is the Justification and Notes field. If the requester included a justification, it will display in this section. If you, as the approver, require additional justification, you may deny the request and include your reasoning in this field. Below the Justification and Notes field is the Request Roles section. Approvers can add or delete roles using the plus and minus buttons next to the Notes field. Once you're ready to approve, select the Approve button and the request will go to the next approver in the workflow, or deny the request by selecting the Deny button. If you deny the request, you will need to include a reason for the denial, which becomes part of the request's history. You'll also have an opportunity to edit the request. The Approval Status section gives you a real-time overview of the request and its position in the workflow. Once approved, the request moves on to the next approver in the workflow, or if it's denied, a notification is sent back to the original requester. You may see roles from other areas outside of your responsibility, so please keep in mind that you can only approve roles that you are directly responsible for. You can save your changes to the approval request by selecting Save at the bottom of the page, or select Return to Search to begin a new search or refine the existing search criteria. Once a request is moved through all of the necessary approvals, the requester and the employee receive an email notifying them that the request has been approved. Approvers can also delegate their approval responsibilities to a supervisor in their chain of command or a manager in their college or area for a set amount of time. In the Application Access Request window, under the Approvals folder, select Delegate Approvals. Select the magnifying glass next to the Delegate Approver field and a list of approvers in your chain of command displays. Select a user from the list. Only approvers from this list can be used. Select the Calendar button next to the Effective Begin Date field and select the date you want the delegation to begin. Then select the Calendar button next to the Effective End Date field and select the date you want the delegation to end. To finish, select the Save button. 